The Touch Project is a ministry, a homeless ministry to those that need it the most in downtown Miami. Uh, Touch stands for taking outward and upward care of the homeless. And it's something that God placed on my heart and I've been doing for about a year and a half now. Um, it originated at Christ the Rock and I kind of took over the ministry um, months and months ago. And it's something that I'm very passionate about. We take food and clothing, um, water supplies, sanitary products also, and we go down bi-weekly and distribute them to people on the street. And we take care of their outward needs while being able to minister to them spiritually, taking care of the upward needs. And this has been something that God's placed on my heart and people have been very supportive of it. And it's been great so far. Um, we're continuing to grow and grow, including other churches, people from different nationalities and ethnic backgrounds. And it's a great opportunity to put feet to your faith and, and go out um, in literally your backyard. It's just downtown Miami, about 35 minutes away. I remember there were times when we'd go down and, and sometimes the reception wasn't warm. You know? Homeless people would be almost antagonistic against us. And, um, but yet, God's love just shone through. And uh, it's, the results have just been incredible. I don't think there's anyone that's gone down with us that hasn't just been changed. I remember I went down one time and we went into a parking lot and I was driving the shuttle, I pulled up and I saw three guys and they were reading a coupon book from Walmart, uh, just a newspaper clipping. And I walked up to them and I said, hey guys, how are you doing? They kind of looked at me real strange, wondering what I'm doing down here at 11 o'clock at night. And I said, hey, could you guys use some food and a pair of socks? And I don't know what I said, but I just said socks. And the guys slowly put down the newspaper and looked at me and said, what did you say? And I said, could you use a pair of socks? They looked at each other, looked at me, and they just said, thank you, Jesus. And I kind of stood back and I said, what? It, what, what did I do? And they said, we're looking at this Walmart section. And I looked at it, and they were actually circling on their trying to socks, wondering, saying, God, how are we going to be able to provide socks for our feet? I looked at their shoes. I looked at their feet, and it was just, it was nasty. They desperately needed a new pair of socks. And as they were sitting there praying and asking God, how are we going to provide? Up I walked and asked them specifically, hey, do you guys need food and a pair of socks? And it was just one of those times where I just had to smile and say, God, you're amazing. And we were able to talk to them. Um, we led one of them to Christ. He was a Spanish speaker. And it was just simply an opportunity where, where God was able to shine through and let these people remember that though society may have turned their back against them, that he still loves them. And people that are open to being radical disciples of Christ just are used by him in amazing ways, whether they realize it or not. And that was just one of many, many stories that, uh, that we experience every time we go down.